Okay, people, we got a new episode of Only Stands here. I would say maybe biggest guest of all time, probably biggest guest of all time, uh, Paige Van Zandt. Thank you. That's a compliment. <laughs> That's really nice. <laughs> no, I would I would venture to guess you're probably the biggest guest you ever had. I don't really know who would top you. You're fucking, like I was saying, I feel like you were, I feel like you maybe have been the trailblazer of non OnlyFans queens to get on OnlyFans. Like when I think of the first person to make the jump, I think Paige Van Zandt. I love that. I, I love it. Actually, I think my bio on OnlyFans is, says the queen of OnlyFans. <laughs> Are you the queen of OnlyFans? I would like to consider myself the queen of OnlyFans. Do only they fans. give you stats? They do give you stats, yeah. I haven't where do you, dove where do you into it too much. I know I'm at the, the point zero one percent. You got to be guess. like top 10. I would hope so. I'm kind of sad they don't have a like leaderboard. I would just be interested in seeing like who has the most. That would be really fun, actually, to go and like compete to be yeah. on the top of the leaderboard. I think it would start a lot of problems, and I would really, I would really, really <laughs> enjoy seeing who's the top because I, I would assume you have to be up there. You'd probably get a lot better content if there was a leaderboard. Yeah, we're all competing there, yeah. for first. Competing, I mean, if everybody wins. You're competing first, you're getting more money. It's true. But who, who? I wonder who else would be up there. It's got to be like you, Carmen Electra. I know Iggy Zalea is on Iggy there. Iggy Zalea. Oh, bad. Uh, Catch me outside, girl. Catch bad me outside. Bobby. Isn't yep. she number one? She know. was for a while. I don't know that she. I don't. I don't know if she does it anymore. I think we had her on Sunday conversation recently, and she okay. was still doing it. Nice. And she was. That was odd. Was it? Well, yeah, because she was. Yeah, she just kept saying how the day she turned eighteen, it really popped off, and I was like, Oh, oh yeah. It's kind of mm. weird when you when you That's realize little, the day you turned eighteen. <laughs> that is a little creepy. Yeah, it's a little <laughs> odd. A little awkward. But um, Paige, we're gonna start this interview off with the uh, same question I ask every guest: Where are you from? Where am I from? I Gosh. That's a great first, um, first question to ask when you meet a person for the first time. It is. I'm from Oregon. I was born and raised until I was 15. I moved to Reno, Nevada. And then since then, I've pretty much lived all over the West Coast. And now I'm in Florida. Ooh, what part of Florida? Like Miami area? No, I'm actually in like Fort Lauderdale area. Ooh, okay. I love Delray. Yeah. I'm a Delray stan. Delray, okay. I'm a Delray stan. I love Delray. You know what? I've heard a lot of good things about Delray. I haven't made it there. Gotta go to Tin Roof, Tremonti, great Italian food. Atlantic Ave, beautiful, great beaches. Okay. Florida's the best. We pretty much stick to like our little area. So we're technically in Parkland or like Coconut Creek area. Okay. Um, the gym we train at is in Coconut Creek. So my husband and I are homebodies. So we don't really venture far out of that area. Hey, just saying. Great area. Great area. Southern Florida. I'm going to go there. Amazing. Yeah. If you ever want really good Italian food, go to Del Rey. I do love really the, good. The but new... we're in New York right now, right? Yeah. So yeah, there's yeah. got to be. You've been doing anything go... good? No. Nothing? Walking. I think I walked like nine miles yesterday, eight miles before that. We're, I mean, we're just doing like the touristy stuff. I mean, stuff, coincidentally, but... I was told you're not staying too far from our office and you took a cab here. We did, but that was not my fault. That <laughs> was my manager's fault. I was fault. told you're staying pretty close to our office and you took a cab here. The guys I came with didn't want to sweat. So. That's fair. Where did you walk yesterday? Nine miles. Um, I brought my dog here. So I travel with my dog if anybody follows me on what Instagram. Kind? He's a Pomeranian Chihuahua. I was going to okay. bring him here, but it was, you I was should. just we wasn't sure. Dog He's recently. like the best dog in the world. Everyone enjoys a dog. Yes, everybody Who loves a dog. like a dog around? Yeah, so I walked him. I actually bought a uh, scooter, or not a scooter, a stroller for him. Amazing. Here, so I strollered him to like Chelsea Market. Then I walked up to um, Central Park. Wow, I can't believe, you didn't, can't believe you didn't stroller your dog here. I should have. You would have loved it. I know. He was really sad he missed out, too. Yeah, seriously. You would have had fun. But you, either way, Oregon. Is it Oregon or Oregon? Oregon. Where'd you go to high school? I went, so I went to three high schools. Uh, I did my freshman year in Oregon, sophomore year at a small, no, actually a massive high school in Reno, Nevada. And then I went to college when I was 16. So then I did 16 to 18. I was at community college. How'd you get to college when you were 16? Were you some sort of uh, genius? I had an academic scholarship. <laughs> Didn't know you were so smart. Thank you. But I didn't continue on, like, my academics. I, I signed at the UFC when I was 19, so I kind of already had my... Yeah, you got into the fighting game. Yeah, I got into the fighting game. I, I could have continued on, but I felt like it was my only opportunity to really trace, chase a dream, so I did Interesting. that. Interesting. So, I'm, yeah, I want to say you're from Nevada. I think you're from Oregon. I, I always well, say where you went to high school you messed that one up, too. Nevada. I'm, I'm bad with state names. <laughs> so, is it, is it Oregon or Oregon? Oregon. I lived in the two controversial states. And then Oregon Nevada? Oregon and Nevada. 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 And then there's, all, I mean, there's the, you're missing the biggest one, Illinois or Illinois. People say that, right? Oh, okay. What do you say? Illinois. People, I think. I feel like people say Illinois. I feel like I don't say Illinois or Illinois ever. You just, <laughs> just, just talk about the state. No, I don't. It's think a good so. state. They got Chicago. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I've been to Chicago actually. What's I your love favorite Chicago. city in the country? My favorite city. Gosh, that's a really good question. Um, I've traveled a lot, fortunately, in my career all over the United States. Um, my husband and I have fun in like really small, random cities. We were just in Austin a few weeks ago. Yeah, no one goes to Austin. That's not a big city at all. Oh yeah, 
I mean, it was cool. Austin's a huge city. <laughs> it's a huge city. Yeah. Capital of Texas. Okay. Well, and then we went to like Moncton, Canada. Like these, like, that's a little one. Yeah, I've never yeah. heard of Moncton. Moncton. Very small. We had a great time there. Canada is a good country. Canada. We like New York, though. Like, as far as I've been in New York like 20 plus times, and I have a great time oh. every single time. Well, you're, you've been in New York more than me, and I live here. Oh, really? And I'm from here. Nice. And I hate it. You I hate it? Believe, I love New York. I can't believe you like it. It stinks. I guess it's it, I mean, it does. It's, Literally stinks. It smells oh, bad. Oh, it does but... literally stink. Today, today, I like just walk into a pile of like a puddle of napkins. It was just yeah. impulsive. Just right on yeah. the for You don't get used to that coming from like a small town where I'm from. The yeah. Hey, concrete jungle where dreams are made of. You know. It's true. Just big, big There's buildings. Dreams everywhere. So um. I don't really know much about fighting, so we're not going to talk much about UFC, frankly. Cool, that's fine. I don't, I don't know anything about it. Awesome. Really, I know I know Paige Van Zandt though. Sweet, but that's um, the important part. I do know about OnlyFans. Yep. You have an OnlyFans. I do. Yeah, so um, let's begin talking about that. Um, when did you start? When did you get in the game? Um, so kind of throughout the longevity of my fighting career, I think it was kind of the the push on my social media from from my fan base. I'm a very very large male fan base. Especially if coming from a combat sport yeah, yeah. and then being, you know, a blonde girl. And I get it. Yes. So I, I had always had the comments like, let's get her to start an OnlyFans. Like, get her, like, wanted me to do the exclusive content. And I wasn't quite ready for it. It was something that I wanted to actually had my mind made up. I started a, it was, they're like a competitor, I guess, of OnlyFans, but they're just a very small platform. Mm -hmm. I started with that. I had my own website with my own domain originally. And I was like, let me just test this out. I didn't want to have the negative context of being on OnlyFans, yeah. kind of like the stigma that comes with being an OnlyFans girl. I wasn't really sure if that's the direction I wanted my career to go. Um, I didn't want to lose sponsors. I didn't want to lose, you know, opportunities in the fight world, right? You know, all of us are trying to get So when you're doing this, deals. you're still in the fight world as yes, well. Yes, yeah, okay. and I still am. So I, I didn't want to lose out on opportunities based on a stigma. Jumped onto my own website, which didn't have the OnlyFans name behind it. I did extremely well. It was life changing money. Um, and at that point, I was like, oh, awesome. You know, I'm at a point in my life. I did that for about two years and I put myself into a position to where now I don't have to be paid by anybody. Yeah. And it's not trying to fight for sponsors or endorsements. And now I do think that OnlyFans is evolving and it's not necessarily the neg ne negative stigma around it 100% of the time. So you'll see these like sports people or like companies on OnlyFans as well. And and now I made the transition to where if people don't want to hire me based on me having an OnlyFans, I, I don't really care. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 2023. You're allowed to be an OnlyFans. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. it's 2023. <laughs> if, if not, it's kind of just you're not, you're not supporting women, you know? Well, and, you know, before for jobs, you know, you wouldn't want to get tattoos because you would worry about not getting hired or mm -hmm. there's all these different things. You don't want to post certain things on social media because your job might not hire you for that. And that's still things that other people have to worry about. But I wanted to make sure before I made the transition into, you know, exclusive content that I would have set myself up for success in the future and not lost opportunities. On pagevensnet.com. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so um, I guess the big question everyone's wondering is I honestly didn't know. Obviously, I looked at it today. I didn't know uh, what you were posted on there. What do you post it on there? Um, you know, I, I feel like my content started as very PG. I was doing everything like Instagram, but plus a little bit extra. Mm -hmm. It was lingerie, bikini pictures. And then I feel like I kind of set these parameters for myself. And as I've grown and become more comfortable with exclusive content, the content has gotten better and better and grown. And now I've introduced my husband into yeah. content, <laughs> which people absolutely love and hate. Like, it's like a... Ooh, do they get jealous? Yeah, I think they do. But everybody wants to see content with another person. I've been able to collab with uh, a girl named Mandy Sachs, who's in the WWE, and she's she's a really okay, big name. I think she name might come on the show, actually. She's awesome. Yes. Yeah, actually, we have the same manager, so okay. <laughs> that could be. Yes, I, I was one DMing. Of the I was DMing one of them about yes. Okay. Yeah, so we work. Yeah, we work with the same management company, but she was incredible. And since then, like these collabs have been a really big deal for me, and trying to just meet more girls in the industry and build other people up because. I do think that as far as OnlyFans girls, I am kind of in a, in a different lane coming from a combat sport. Yeah. There's not a ton of us on the platform as far as like professional female fighters. So collabing in other industries with girls that are, you know, famous in their own right in other um, categories. In other realms. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. Like I said, you're probably one of the, when I think of girls that didn't start their career as OnlyFans queens, you're the first one to come to mind. So I have no idea what you're posting on there. I looked at it today for research for the show. Yeah. Uh -huh. You were posting some stuff. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was I was kind of shocked, honestly. 
I was like, holy shit, this is this is a real OnlyFans. Yes, it is. It's, it yeah. is definitely a real OnlyFans. If you're picking up what I'm putting down. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I do want to make everyone happy. I know you're paying for my time. I know what you're subscribing for. I like to connect with my subscribers and make it and make it worth, you know, the paywall. And it's something that, you know, on the first site, I didn't post stuff like that. I wasn't yeah. as graphic. I wasn't going as deep into the world of exclusive content. But now that I'm – my husband's extremely happy for me and comfortable and confident. Yeah, it must suck to be him, right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> my family totally supports me. And now I've gotten into this world of I just don't give a shit anymore. Yeah. And I'm comfortable and confident. And I'm not, like, pushing – past my own comfort zones and that's something when i like encourage girls to do something like only fans you have to put parameters on yourself that you're comfortable with because it can easily become like this you know black hole of now you've gotten yourself in over your head of things you never told yourself you'd ever do but yeah i totally get it it's mm -hmm. uh it's interesting i was i was shocked it's great stuff fellas but uh yeah. you mentioned your husband so now you're making videos with your husband yep i'm interested how that works how'd you how did uh How'd you decide to throw him in there? Was he like, I want, was he, yeah, I want to do this? You said, you got to hop in this with me. Um, it, it was first? kind of like a, a joint. I mean, obviously I'm the one who runs my OnlyFans. So then I would just like kind of make a list of what people, once a week I write down like a list of what people are requesting. And I try to fulfill those requests when I can. I, I do have, um, you know, a, a really good following base. So sometimes I can't do everything and there's some things I still don't do and won't do um but there's a lot of things i try to like once a week write down all the content people are requesting and a lot of it involved my husband so i was like all right hey this is the list that people want what are you willing to do and he'd be like oh yeah i'll totally do that and he'd just yeah. jump on board yeah i think it seems like uh in in my old age and elder age yes <laughs> a lot of people want boy girl stuff more than old? girl girl i'm 27 you're 27 yeah why is that bad you're so young. I got to survive the 27 no Club first, way. dude. I just turned 27 last week. I did not think that I was that well, much older, I was than older than you. Than that? Uh, well, I didn't know I was older than how you. How old are you? I know I'm not supposed to ask. I'm not supposed to ask a woman how no, old they okay. are. No, it's okay. I'm 29. Especially that... a woman who kicked my ass. So no, I'm, I'm in an me. industry where everyone asks me how much I weigh, how tall I am, how old I am. It's very common. 29. Uh, I'm 29. Yeah, I'm 27. Oh my gosh. Okay. But either way, growing up, you know, everyone's like, dude, <laughs> we're trying to watch some lesbian videos in high school. <laughs> yeah. Now it's like, now we kind of. We want some boy girl stuff. Okay, nice. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, in your elderly world. Yeah. Like high school, it was, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Let's move on. You evolved. Let's, yeah, exactly. We we evolved, as did all of your uh, subscribers. While you're talking about your subscribers, I'm going to ask my favorite question. Ask mm -hmm. every every guest my favorite question by far. Best question, too. What would you say is the most odd subscriber request you get? Ooh, that's interesting. Um, You know, I try to be respectful of yeah, you probably, everybody's, you probably got some odd ones of yeah. everybody's desires mm -hmm. um the easy ones that i'm totally fine with i mean like a lot of people want to see pictures of my armpits okay armpit pics um do you do do yeah it's an armpit okay cool it's an armpit well, uh, I, okay <laughs> dirty feet i think a really big one is uh like dirty feet and like use gym socks and stuff like that yeah which... a page van zen used gym sock it's kind of like in a babe ruth signed bat you know is it okay it's, I kind, of a, it's kind of a two for one you're that's getting, one thing you're I getting your done horny yet. desires fulfilled <laughs> and you're also getting your if you're a ufc fan you're getting those fulfilled as well you're getting both it's but two for one i have not sold clothing yet or given away clothing of any you kind have i haven't to. sent anything like product or like they want like worn panties i guess oh pants, i feel like, like socks you have to. in this i haven't yet so. that's that's a big mistake i don't know i'm wait, i'm like i'm holding out though because i'll maybe i'll do like a 101 i just did like yeah. a 101 kiss card because in the when i was in the ufc um autograph collectors um or like sellers they mm -hmm. would want you to do these big lots where you you sit there you sign everything and they sell it um they give you like one lump check and then they go sell the individual items and uh, they always wanted me to do kiss cards, and I was like, no, I don't want to. It's where you, like, kiss it instead of autograph it. Okay. So they get an imprint of your, like, lipstick okay. on, like, a baseball card or a collectible card. So I never had. And I finally recently was like, yeah, I'll do – you know what? I'm going to do a one-on-one -on -one kiss card to help launch. My husband has a card shop, so he sells football cards online. Makes sense. Yeah, he's super big into football cards, and he just started streaming on whatnot. But I – did one kiss card for him to sell on his eBay store just to get his eBay store launched. And I think it sold for like thir over $13,000. 13, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave. I want to leave it as a one on one for the guy who bought it. Yeah. Because I really appreciate that. 13 grand for, a, for one card. It's pretty cool. So, kiss. but point being said, maybe I'm holding out for the one person who yeah. wants to buy my panties. Yeah. Or, that's what I'm wondering. Like, if you were to maybe film like a, 
like a sparring session or something. And yes. Then give those and a pair then of panties. Just do an auction. You, One pair only, and yeah, maybe. I think you get like twenty, twenty-five. I would hold out. I would need like five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand dollars for a pair of my used panties, like a one of one, the one of one in the collectible space. Like, and I would promise not to make another pair or never sell another pair. A one of one in that space is pretty. You think you think you would get the sale? Probably. Wow. If I did it, yeah. So you're sitting on five hundred k. If yes, you if I do sell you my think panties, about it. yes, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> That's something you got to think about. Uh -huh. Do um now is there how often do you like? Do you intermingle fighting with content at all ever? Um, to a point. I mean, obviously, I do like some workout videos, and um, like I talk. I mean, I communicate about fighting a lot. On mm -hmm. that's a big, obviously, my my fan base on OnlyFans would be fight fans. Um, but I think I would collab with like other UFC fighters, professional fighters, if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. But also, I think it is two different realms. They're on OnlyFans to see me in, you know, lingerie and. Yeah, that's what that's what they're there for. Yeah, people, people like it. I'm not naive to this. Yeah, um, speaking of other stuff that you're doing, like fans, I'm just gonna just some stuff I wrote down that's on your OnlyFans. You yeah. uh, tweeted at, not tweeted out, but OnlyFans picking my next VIP to be flown to Miami and spend the day on set with me, filming content and getting dinner and drinks. How'd that go? Uh, awesome. So it's actually scheduled. We haven't been able to fly him out yet. Um, we did a collab with one of my girlfriends and she was in uh, Germany. So when we get it scheduled, that's one of the things that like once a month we're picking a subscriber, just anybody who subscribes, there's no, um, paywalls or anything be behind being a subscriber. So we pick one, uh, VIP follower a month and you get to be flown to Miami, all expensive paid. We'll put you up in a hotel and be on set, film the whole day because every now and then we like to like... We'll rent a yacht and do content on it just for fun. Yeah, people love doing stuff on yachts. Yeah, people love that, being on boats. We say that all the time. Girls really like boats. Yes, they do. So as my appreciation for my followers, we pick one person, fly them out, be on set and film, and then go out to Miami. Yeah, turns out they really like boats. Girls love boats. Girls love boats. I don't know. I don't know what it is about. What what is about it? I love a love a big boat. We've asked so many girls. Just, what is it? You're you're a little, married woman too. Yeah. Little boats make me seasick. So Ooh, I like little boats. I want I want the thrill of getting wet. I bet you do. No, not not literally not in a horny way, but I say that do. all the time. I like I like being on a small boat because I want to maybe if we're turning quick, I want to get splashed. Okay, that makes sense. I want a few too. water from in the boat. Like yeah, a big yacht. You I've gone like you don't even get wet. deep sea fishing. I got very seasick, so Ooh, that, sounds, that be, sounds. I have to be careful about that. Yeah, I've, I've never been in the ocean where like I can't see land. It's pretty. Yeah, it's. I mean, do you get motion sickness in cars? No. You'd probably be fine. Though. I don't think so. It just it just I seems get very car sick. Do you really? Extremely. Do you have to sit in the front seat? Yes. In Uber, is all asked to sit in the front seat. Well. Yeah, he's yeah. in the front seat. Mm -hmm. Taxi is all asked to sit in the front seat. Typically, they don't care. Taxi front seat ask is odd. <laughs> they usually say yes. <laughs> <laughs> they usually if say If I was a New York City driver, I'd be like, oh, you want to sit in the front seat? <laughs> Can I sit in the front? But, yeah, Uber's different. But um, yeah, no, I don't get much sickness, but I do enjoy uh, I do enjoy a good boat every now and then. Always fun. Um, some other stuff you wrote on uh, about OnlyFans. You recently, did you got a, recently get a boob job or you got one a while ago? Um, I have had two in my career, so I got the first one right before I got married. I wanted to have boobs. <laughs> I never had them, so right. I was like I'm gonna boobs just, are awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase those. Yeah, uh, they never came in when I got older. So I got um, I got my boobs done when I was 23, maybe maybe 22. It was right before I got married. I wanted to have you know boobs in my wedding dress. I get it. Got married, uh, amazing. And since then, that was about like five or six years ago. And okay. I think you're supposed to get them redone every 10 years. But Oh, really? I was at like the six year point. And I was like, you know, I'm ready for an evolution. So, what, what, is, what did the second one do? <laughs> just bigger. Just, oh, you I went, just bigger? went bigger? Yeah. The Damn. first time I kind of went like really small. So, I had zero boobs growing up, especially in my fighting career. It's not a surprise. You can see pictures of me weighing in, and I'm like the most flat chested person you've ever seen. Um, always wanted a set, purchased a pair, loved them. Um, I went significantly smaller than the doctor recommended. And he told me, he was like, you're going to want bigger later in life. I was like, okay, well, I'm still in the prime of my fighting career. Let's, let's test out these puppies before I go like huge. And I still mm -hmm. didn't go huge. And I just got a little bit bigger as I've evolved as a woman. I wanted bigger boobs. Who doesn't? Exactly. Everybody Ten, loves bigger 10 boobs. years down the line. Who knows? Maybe they'll go Except for like eyes. I did see that a lot of women are taking them out because the new body style is like heroin chic again. 
Ooh, what's that mean? I mean, it's really, really fucking skinny. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a fan of that. I, I think it's like that. the wave of um, the diet pills and the diet shots and this and that. So Everyone's... it's like late 90s models are back yeah, in. Yeah, and so they're taking the boobs Interesting. out. Interesting. I don't know that. I, I would like to be, I would like it on record that I'm for the boobs in. Okay, in, good. In I think most of my subscribers yeah, prefer. I'm, I'm for the boob prefer in Prefer a little category. bit. You have, you have me on record saying that. I, I didn't know heroin chic is in. It's a new thing, I think. I'm out on it. Yeah, well. That stinks. But yeah, I didn't approve that. Um, he recently put up on OnlyFans, uh, come skinny dipping with me. Do you ever have any good skinny dipping stories? Ooh, skinny dipping stories. Um, no, but I do have my own pool. Hell yeah. Which is awesome in Florida. I think if you live in Florida, it's ideal to have a pool. Um, I've never had a pool in my life. Living in Oregon, there's no reason for one. So uh, I go skinny dipping Dude. in my pool, like almost every day, actually. Yeah, I'm jealous of that. And on a serious note, that's yes. that's my dream, too, to have a skinny pool. Skinny dipping. There's no, nothing better than just swim. Oh, I just want to be a pool, pool. owner. <laughs> you can skinny dip. <laughs> okay. I just want to be the pool owner. You just want to be in the pool. I just okay. want to be a pool owner. I always say my dreams is to have a pool, and by the time I'm 40, I want to like retire in Delray. And okay. own a golf cart. In, in Delray. And you know what? We're going to buy a golf cart you pretty need to soon. Buy, yeah. Everybody golf carts around Florida. And I feel like that's like the flex is if you have like a like really a pimped cool. Out golf yeah, cart? pimped out golf cart. So many people in our neighborhood. There's one that looks like a Cadillac. And there's like these old man driving in his like Cadillac golf cart down the street. Oh, it's pretty epic. That's the dream. So. Can you send me pictures of yours when you get it done? Yeah. I want I like a pink one. I'm going to buy a pink one. You totally sure. should. That's the dream. I was thinking the other day like that. I, you know what I think I want to do later in my life too? Mm -hmm. I want to. Um, I want to buy one of those tiki bars, a floating tiki bar, and yep. be the bartender on it. That's cool. I think that's how I want to retire. I like and those. And just live in Delray. That's a good idea. Yeah. And just be an elderly Florida man, you know? And just drive around. Can you have a pool in in New York? Is there people that have pools in New York? Um, I never Probably had one growing city. up. My, there, there are a few towns like near, near me where it is illegal to have a pool. Oh. But a lot of my friends have like up, above ground ones. My okay. my backyard was concrete though, so I never had one. So I never had one. Yeah, okay. really, I've always missed out on it. I got to the point where I bought like three inflatable hot tubs. That's nice. They're great. Before I had a pool, when I lived in Oregon, I did get a little kiddie pool just to. Yeah, just yeah, to, like, I had a blow up pool growing up, which I yeah. enjoyed. There's, there's nothing like a pool. Just, there's nothing like a pool. Just no. being in water is phenomenal. It's amazing, know. yeah. So, how often do you go to the beach in Florida? We actually don't go as often as we used to. So, we were getting our house built. And it took us like two years to build the thing. And we were living in an Airbnb kind of on the water. And I would go to the beach every day. Ride my bike, ran to the beach every day. Um, now <laughs> we're like 10 minutes from the beach. Uh, and too far in Florida. That's like an hour. Far. That's an hour away in Florida. It's way years. too far. So, uh, but we have like an epic backyard. We really did put everything into our backyard. It's massive. It's like a resort. So it's hard for me when I'm home to ever leave my house. I like to just lay in my pool. Interesting. Um, I saw you post some uh, feet stuff. Feet stuff. You got a lot of feet requests Always. on OnlyFans? You got to talk about the feet stuff. Yeah. Well, the dirty I saw, feet. I saw you posting some feet stuff. You were posting a lot of foot stuff. Dirty feet is a really big deal. Apparently, there's this thing called wiki, or no. Yeah, wiki feet? Maybe a feet finder? No, wiki feet. Wiki it's feet? like okay. celebrity feet pictures. Okay. You can go on and find celebrities' feet, and then there's a ranking. So you can like rank feet. And I think I have a five-star rating. You have a five-star rating? I'm pretty sure. Nice, Apparently, dude. thank you. I Apparently, have great feet. And I never wow. knew um, that I did. I mean, Congrats I don't know if we want to go to detail about my no, feet. No, no, no. Like, I'm, not, I'm not a foot guy. <laughs> you're I'm not? Just... Okay. One of like my baby toe like barely has a toenail. So I think that should bring oh, that, me that gets down the boys to like going. a four. No, but I think that like people like it. So you said it brings you down to a four. I th I think it should. Clearly not. People love it. No, people it's like, like it's, it. Yeah, it's like I, I got a fucked up pinky. It's like having a fucked up. You pinky. do have a fucked up. Yeah, pinky. it's pretty disgusting. My hands are pretty good for punching people for so much. I did break a few knuckles, but they look pretty good. They for look good. Knuckles. Honestly, my knuckles don't look that bad. What's your What's your more powerful hand to punch with? Um. I was more of a kicker. Like, so right now I do bare knuckle boxing, but when I was in the UFC, I was known for kicking. Um, okay. Love kicking people. So cool. I have one really cool head kick knockout. That was awesome. I feel like that, that must be a thrill getting a head kick knockout. It really is. It's yeah. pretty It's pretty cool. It does sound pretty sick. Congratulations. Kicking someone in the face. You think you've, you're ever going to kick anyone in no, the face? No, I can't get my legs in that your high. <laughs> There's a picture. I don't know if we can slice this in. I, we were talking about before we uh, did a shoot with Ed Sheeran like two weeks ago. Yeah. And we were watching Goodfellas and he like kept telling me to put his feet put our feet like on the TV stand. Okay. It took me like four times to get it up really? there. Really? Yeah, it was embarrassing. But I did get it up there. But I was like, there's no, there's no way I could ever kick somebody in the face ever. But that does sound very fun. I'm kind you of jealous of that. You stretch a little bit. You yeah, you definitely got to stretch a little bit. You could get there. You could do a lot of working out before a fight. Like, like oh, the day sure. of? Like you just stretch uh, the whole day? No, the day of is pretty relaxed until you like head to the arena. It's really just like trying to keep your nerves quiet before 
before you fight so you don't have an mm -hmm. adrenaline dump. So you're just kind of relaxed, head to the arena, and then you just warm up. Um, like I'd try to wait until like an hour before I fight. Cool. Um, I'm going to, once again, read something that's on your OnlyFans. Perfect. It is in capital, it is in capital letters. It's a photo of you and your husband. And it says, um, want to see us fuck. <laughs> have, you, have you guys, are you guys posting like full-blown sex tapes? No, we're not. No. No. I think if we were to ever post a sex tape, it would be on there. It was more of a question like, do you want to? It, yeah, it's not, not wrong to ask. Yeah, it's not. It's like a pretty. I would assume pretty, the poll was pretty one-sided. It was pretty one-sided, yes. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, I would say a sex tape probably. I would think so, too. Cash. I would hope so. Cash. Uh, um, yeah. We're, I mean, we're getting there. I mean, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. No, pay, pay, subs you got to subscribe I was, to find again, out. I was shocked what was on there. It was, I was. Utterly shocked. But, um... I take my OnlyFans job very seriously. I could, Yeah. No. Confirmed. Yeah. What else do we have on there? Um, let's see. You wrote, um... The Arch, if you know, you know. Yep. That was good. Um, I feel like the Arch needs to get more in there. It Not does. A lot of people are appreciating the Arch. You like the Arch. I'm an Arch guy. Arch guy. I'm a, I want to be on record. I'm an Arch guy. Awesome. So I appreciate you bringing that up. That and the tan lines. You had some tan line stuff I on there. I did do tan lines. Yeah, Is that yeah. a really big thing? Oh, yeah. You know, I've been seeing girls, they'll go get like spray tans with their bikinis on. So they get like the hard tan line. Oh, yeah. Which I never knew that Dude, was a thing. I don't because... know why people love it, but people love tan lines. Okay. They're amazing. I'm going to have to incorporate that in more. Yeah. I love the requests, too. I know you guys have had a lot of amazing OnlyFan girls on here. Oh, you got we, any we've, we've requests heard, uh, and advice? Yeah, I'm what all for it. What advice could I give you from this show? Yeah. Um, What's, like, the top thing girls say is, like, their biggest income source? I feel like not doing sex tapes. Okay. Because people are always wanting – people are always, always thinking it's going to come. More. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I feel I feel like once you cross that end – Once you cross the – yeah. <laughs> once you cross the how dark many, side. How many sex tapes could you really sell? But, I mean, you would think endless. But you're still but waiting for that. You're still waiting for that always. Is this finally the is one? Is this the one? Is okay. this finally the one? Yep. And then it never is. <laughs> but <laughs> they're still is. always waiting. Is it finally the one? I would okay. say that. Damn. What is what um, OnlyFans advice could I give Paige Van Zandt? I think be honest to your followers. I think is, is a good one. Yeah. I feel like a lot of because as a as an OnlyFans subscriber myself to okay. some girls, it yep. does suck when they're like, oh. you, do you subscribe to mine? I subscribed this morning. Just this morning. For work. So. It's for work. Not for like ever though. Are you going to stay subscribed after I leave the podcast? Yeah. I, Paige, I told you. I was shocked. At, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I was shocked when I, when I opened it. I assumed like celebrity turned OnlyFans queen. Yeah. It would be pretty PG. Yeah. It wasn't. No, I'm not PG, no. guys. No, not at all. Um, no, I'll stay subscribed, definitely. I'm a, I'm a fan of Paige Van Zandt now. You know that. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, I read one time that you had to strip to make weight in UFC. Oh, yeah. Does that's that happen pretty, a lot? That's pretty common. Um, of course... There's times like a lot of people will pull the towel out. And so when you make weight for fighting, you only want to be on weight as shortest amount of time as possible. So, yeah, you're allowed to strip down to nothing. Um, but beyond that, I fought in Brooklyn and everyone seemed to fail to notice that my hair was super long showing up. And then mm -hmm. for weigh-ins, I cut like six inches off of it. So I, could make, so I could make so I could make weight for the fight. Yeah, it was just a, it was like getting down to the end. And of course, I could have just worked a little harder and. Sweat off a little more. I was like, or I could just get these scissors and that's interesting. I never, <laughs> trim I've never, my hair. I've never thought of that in my life. I feel like it's probably easier to fight too with shorter hair. Uh no, I, I I think that there is like a um, there's a like balance for for women at least. You either need to have like short shaved head, okay, or you need to have it long enough to where it can be braided. Otherwise, okay, it's gonna fall out and go everywhere. Um, next question I have is um, basically just OnlyFans versus UFC. Yep. I'm assuming you've out earned your UFC earnings by a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I definitely have. I would say when I made the switch to OnlyFans, there's a lot of stuff I've done in my career. I've been, I've been really fortunate that my career, even outside of the UFC and outside of fighting, has been pretty successful. I've worked pretty hard in other industries and trying to cross over to, like I guess, more of a mainstream personality. Uh, but, yes, OnlyFans has definitely been my largest source of income, um, I would say, combined <laughs> in my fighting career. Makes I sense. think I made more money in – 24 hours on OnlyFans than I had in my entire fighting career. Really? Combined, yeah. Yeah, that'll yeah. get you. 24 hours. 24 hours. And so that's why it's hard to, it's hard as a person. Like I do, I, I you know, was nervous about the stigma, but now it's like, you know, it's hard to walk away from. It's probably from. pretty sweet too, just look at the bank account and be like, oh. It is. But I feel like once you're, when you're one of those people that you were born poor, you grew up poor, and then you become rich, it's almost like you always just feel poor. So you always want to continue to work hard. And, and I, I am lucky I'm in a position where 
I have been able to help my family, my husband and I help our family, and we do everything we can to bring everybody up to the table. Amazing. Yeah. It's like you're like Vincent Chase, Entourage. It, yeah. So exactly. it makes it like, I guess for me, it justifies doing, you know, exclusive content, knowing that I'm helping take care of everybody around Amazing. me. So Paige Van Zandt, confirm rich. I would, I would assume so, yes. yes. But, but I mean, if you own a car, I think then you're considered top 1% rich in the, really? in the entire world. Did yeah. I know that? I'm not. I don't yeah. know a car, so. But yes. <laughs> but yeah, I do. I do well for myself. Yeah. Awesome. And um, this is a very much not an OnlyFans question, but I was just reading right. about you on Wikipedia today. Yeah. You were on Chopped. That's pretty sick. I do what? You were on Chopped. I was on Chopped. How Chopped? Go? Oh my gosh, Chopped uh, was big, amazing. I'm a big Food Network guy. I got to oh. ask how Chopped went. Yes. Okay. So I do want to put out a cookbook and a cooking show. Those are still on my like my bucket Kill list. Me in. I'm on my. That's on my bucket list. So mega cooking. So when I was in community college. I did major in culinary arts for one semester oh. only, but I absolutely love cooking. I was on the Celebrity Chopped. It was a tournament. So I went on. I won my first episode, Chop oh, Champion. Right. Thank you, Chop Champion. I was, Who were your judges? Like my dream. Um, Alex Gornishelli. Oh, my God. Um, the football player that's now- Eddie Jackson. Eddie Jackson. I think Scott Conant. Yes, Whoa, because then I did another- nice trio. I did a spinoff show with him. Uh for top golf and then it was Amazing. we like reconnected so you won your episode i won my episode i didn't win the whole tournament the whole mm -hmm. championship but at that point i was so tired i flew in on a red eye went straight to chop to do the show and then we got done filming i was the last uh the last season or the last show of that season one mine so then they were like you know we filmed until like two in the morning really? and then they're like all right you need to be here at like 6 a.m for the next episode so I got almost no sleep after coming off a of red eye. So by the time I was on the next episode, I was just like ready to go home. But I won my won my episode. It was a dream come true. So do you know what? Like I have, I have so many questions. I'm do, so excited. Do they tell you what you're like? Give you any ingredients before? No, you know it nothing. is literally the show. I think the only piece that was quote unquote staged was we all finished with like a minute left and mm -hmm. they were like okay we can't just like cut okay so like all right do something else all right and then they did the countdown to where nice. it ended but all of us the ingredients luckily i was so lucky i was a mega fan of chopped and i knew exactly where everything was and i i'm like you prepped knew where for the this. stuff was oh i knew where everything was i prepped for the show i made ice cream as my dessert which is like a really big deal Whoa. yeah i made ice cream Page was, said you made ice cream i did <laughs> on chopped what was your what was your uh, entree um, there was a few. So the first one, I think I made little like meatball sliders. The second round, I made um, tacos, and then the third round, I made like apple pie and ice cream. So my biggest question though is, um, what happens? Like, does the food get cold? I think so. How quickly? Because how quickly between when you're finished and when you actually do the judging? It is not. It is not quick. Really? So you do the whole cooking. You stand there. You stare at your dish. They film you. They're like, oh, the drama, and then uh, it cuts. They clean the entire kitchen spotless. You come back to that spot and then you do the judging. Wow. So they're probably. So the, I think they food. put it in like warmers and coolers based yeah. on what you cook. So very interesting. Wow. Yeah. Damn. That was um, cool. I would say though, I was on that show and then I was on Ridiculousness, which was also another like dream of mine to be mm -hmm. on Ridiculousness. But since then, I have not watched a single episode of Chopped or Ridiculousness. I feel like I like checked it off my list. Yeah, and now I'm done. I can see it. Like it's like, like I work here. I don't listen to anyone else's podcasts. Now you just like don't. Now you're. Once you your like thing. know the people, or I guess have been on it, it's like it's odd to listen to kind of. It is. It's like weird. I'm like, okay, I, I did that. Damn, that's 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 a dream. Yeah, I'm so jealous. They're, they were pretty epic. So what is what do you, what do you want your cookbook to be about? Is there like a theme to it? Um, uh, everybody would assume that if I did like a cookbook, it'd be like health food because of yeah. fighting and cutting weight and dieting, but mine would be completely opposite. I feel like mine would just be like cheat meals. Mm -hmm. So like my favorite cheat meals. Awesome. I thought, what, what are top three cheat meals right now? What are they? Top three. So since being in New York, I've had Thai food every day. So mm -hmm. four times. <laughs> um, uh, a pizza, obviously we walked around and got some pizza while we were here. And third one. And the third one. Something with chocolate. It's got to really? be love chocolate. I think mine be a cheese fries from Outback Steakhouse. So oh. hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch you my idea. Okay, I've had I'm an ready. idea for a cookbook. This is I want great. you to tell me if you think it's bad or not. Okay. And you can't steal it. If you want to collaborate, I'll consider it. Okay. So like TM, you got a verbal. Yeah, yeah. It. I've been thinking about doing a cookbook, but it's just sauces. Oh. It's just like mimic sauces of like yep. your favorite sauces. I like that. So there's actually, a, I want to call it Balls's Book of Sauce. That's cute. So That's there's good. a. Or you call it like I got the sauce to be the boss. Ooh, like sauce, the sauce boss. Sauce boss. 
Yeah, Forward by Paige Benzema. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Uh -huh. um, yeah, like I'm thinking like a Chick-fil-A mimic sauce, like a mimic of like Raisin Cane sauce. That's a really good idea. How to make it by yourself. I like it. I could see the wheels in your head spinning yep. and how you're going to steal it. Oh. And just so you know, I just trade No, I just it. like remembered that I'm like the sauce queen. I make really good sauces. So. What's your best sauce? I'll throw some, I'll throw some like What's your sauces sauce? for you. I make like a, it's like a play on like green goddess dressing. Ooh, but I've been seeing that everywhere. I make really good chimichurri. Ooh, Love nice. chimichurri. I haven't seen that green goddess dressing. Some, like, I don't know what it is. Chipotle sauce. Oh, that's Chipotle. that's that's my dream. I'm all about spice. Chipotle aioli. Yes. yes. Every 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 restaurant I walk into, I immediately ask. Spicy do sauce. Do you guys have a chipotle aioli? Spicy sauce. Spicy margaritas. Uh, you could do like sauces and drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so it's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, great. Love it. Um, damn, I'm happy I got my chopped questions in there. You're the first guest we've had that's ever done chopped. <laughs> that's ever done chopped. Yeah. That's awesome. You're yeah. The, you're our first chopped guest. We haven't had uh, Alex Carter Shelley on the show yet, so. Maybe you could. <laughs> you know what's funny is I was on the show. I was on Chopped with her, and then I ended up flying from New York back to L.A. And uh, we were sitting next to each other in first Ooh, class. Did you guys bond? Like, oh, what's up? No, no, it was Ooh. a red eye. I was sleeping. Oh, yeah, that, that's yeah. I that's was really fair, tired, uh, but either way, still cool. Thank you. I thought it was epic too. Um, I'm just gonna play a little name game here quickly. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna name some uh, fighting moves or sex moves. You tell me if it's fighting or sex Ooh, moves. Ooh, that's great. Okay, I love this game. I think they're mostly wrestling moves. Okay. Because I did text our guy Robbie Fox here, who's our UFC guy. Okay. And I was like, is there any way Paige Van Zandt doesn't know any UFC move? And he said, absolutely not. She absolutely all not. Yes. So they're wrestling moves mostly. <laughs> okay, perfect. Me. Hit okay. Me. First one, hair puller. Hair puller. That's definitely a sex move. That's sex. <laughs> yeah. Um, the V trigger. The V trigger? Yeah. Dear heavens, I hope that's a sex move because I can't think of anything that has to do with. Is that a, it is I mean, a wrestling that, okay, move? Okay, that's got to be like a pro wrestling move, though. It is a wrestling move. The uh, the five knuckle shuffle. Five knuckle shuffle. Oh dear lord! If that's a sex move, I really don't want to find out what it is. It's a wrestling move. Okay, pro wrestling, MMA, very different. Yeah. Pro wrestling move. <laughs> the uh, the golden arch. The golden arch. The arch is great. I feel like these are all pro wrestling moves that. It's sex. It's sex. <laughs> what is okay? Can you describe that one to me? I have no idea. <laughs> Wait, do you? Okay, you haven't hit. The, you haven't uh, hit that one yet. The standing wheelbarrow. It's, oh my gosh. It sounds pro wrestling. Sex. That's sex. Yeah. Um, pile driver. Oh, pile drivers. Both. That's both. UFC. That's, that's both. I think it's UFC. No, you cannot pile drive someone in the UFC. I thought I read this UFC. You absolutely can't pile drive. I know. I think I actually read that it's a banned UFC move. It is. Yeah. Yes. You absolutely cannot pile, the, some, pile drive someone in MMA. What's the um? I guess biggest no no in the fighting world. Um, you're not supposed to eye poke. Okay. Hitting in the groin. No punches to the back of the head. Grabbing the fence. Like interesting. Yeah. Well, hey, Paige. That's basically all I got for you. Got any? That was you, it. Got any questions for me? Yeah. What? what you want to talk about more stuff? What, you thought it was gonna be that hard? Was easy. What, well, what, what, do you, what do you think? I don't know. I didn't think you were coming here for a serious interview. <laughs> yeah. We've been going for like I was ready for you minutes. to like fix my whole life. <laughs> no, I'm not. I feel like you, podcasts are like therapy. No, no, no. This is a fun podcast. Okay, cool. We try to keep it light. Nice. We're talking about chopped. I like that. I love chopped. Yeah, we're talking chopped. Um, yeah, outside of that, I got really nothing else. That you got anything else? No. Recommendations. You're, you're, you're I making guess. me. You're making me insecure that we're done. You just keep saying that was it. <laughs> That was great. Make it be very insecure. <laughs> that was easy. If you want to stay here, I'm you, hey, will. I'm in the fighting world. I'm used to very hard hitting questions that make you think about like your existence. So no, this, the only question fun. I have that I did have that I did write down that I was scared to ask you because you're kind of intimidating. Say it. Was um, my husband is outside? By yeah, the way. Yeah, no, okay, it was just it was. You did write on your OnlyFans. Tell me what position you want me in. Dot 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 dot. dot. Blinky dot, face. Dot, dot, dot. Winky face. Yeah. What's your favorite position? Ooh, favorite one. It's scary um, to ask you because you I would. My ass. Well, no, this is great. My, you know, my husband and I are, are pros. You know, we're we're professionals. Both in the ring and in the bed. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I would say his would be standard. Classic. The arch from back from the back makes sense. Obviously, I get it. Um, <laughs> I would say missionary. I like to look at his beautiful face. That's so cute. Yeah. That's so romantic. We're like super in love still. So it's isn't pretty that, awesome. Isn't that great? Yeah. And that makes very spicy content because yeah. it's organic. We, we make some stuff in their tree house. So oh, really? Yeah, you you'll like that. Tree house sex. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And he's not in the room and you're still saying you're in love with him. That's great. Yeah. It always makes me happy when I hear couples talk about each other when they're not next to each other. Yeah. And they how much they love them. Love I was like, other. wow. Yeah. It's so wholesome. We're about to have our five year wedding anniversary. Oh, so congratulations. We're Did you guys do anything for it? No. No, we don't. We don't really do anything. We just sound like every a blast. day. Every day's an anniversary. <laughs> every so. day's your anniversary. Oh, bad. Hey, breaking news: Paige Van Zandt in love. In love, yeah. But and the content's fire. I feel like still, spicy. Hey, and love content's the best. You're not getting. You're not getting. You're not getting a stunt dick over here. You're getting two people you're in getting love. The real, 
the yes. real deal. You're, you're watching love being full made. throttle. Yeah. yeah you're, <laughs> if you're into, if you're into romance, you're watching love being made. Yes. Um, how'd you guys meet? Uh, we actually met at the gym. Surprise! We're both yeah, professional fighters, but you guys ever fight? Uh, like physically? No, yeah. absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's like some crazy domestic violence stuff. No, we uh we do fight like argue like once every six months, but that's pretty much it. I meant like just joking around like at the ring. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah we definitely do. Cool. Yeah. You ever kick any dudes' asses? Has there ever been like a time where Paige Van Sant's like been out at a bar and someone's gotten? No. Annoying uh, and you've had to beat people up? Uh, yes and no. Mostly no. Ooh, sounds like you said yes. Mostly no. Mostly no. Okay. Mostly no. So wasn't there a thing where like Ronda Rousey beat up guys at like a fucking movie theater or something? Is that true? I think so. It could be. I or did she it. say that in the Entourage movie? I don't really know. It could have been a fake movie. It might have been a fake. It might have been a fake story in the Entourage yeah. movie. But either way, that would have been fun. Yeah. Anyway. Sick. You got any questions for me? Um, I don't think so. Cool. Well, hey, this you're, is yeah, fun. you're gonna say subscribe. You like the content? Yes, yeah, gonna say subscribe. Thank you very much for coming once again. Probably our biggest guest you ever had. So I really appreciate you coming, Paige. Epic. This was fun. I enjoyed it. Thank We're you. done. We're if done. That's okay. That's with great. You. If that's okay. With <laughs> no, you. that's awesome. I'm gonna go get some more New York pizza. Please, where are you going? I don't know. Go to like John's at Bleecker. Okay, I'm gonna or try Joe's. that. Or Joe's. Been to Joe's. Joe's is really Loved good. Loved it. I love Joe's. Been there. All right. Like pastrami? No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> no. <laughs>